Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to PPW High Voltage Bobo alongside E. Julius Kuiper, fresh off the farm, Philip J. Bravado tonight in our main event of the evening. The six year title match is coming up. It's Evander James, the man you can trust, taking on the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries. You know, I'd love to talk crap about Evander James here, but I simply can't. He's had a resume that has gone a long way here in PPW, all the way up to the top, quite frankly. Tonight, he proves why he is the best here. Austin Aries will not be able to take the title from him. Well, talk about what a guy who has a resume as long as Freddie's inseam, Austin Aries. It doesn't get any better than that, EJ. I mean, what could I say that already hasn't been said? TNA, Ring of Honor, WWE, Austin Aries has been there. He's done that, and now... He is looking to get that PPW Heavyweight Championship, and I think he could do it, Paul Bo. All right, what I suggest you to do, go to the refrigerator, grab something cold to drink, turn on the solo Spaceman coming up after PPW High Voltage. We'll be right back. Hazleton, Pennsylvania. There'll be a full moon on Saturday, October 19th, live from Holy Family Academy in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Come see former WWE and current PPW heavyweight champion, Austin Aries, South Philly's finest, the main event, Clutch Adams, and much, much more. That's Saturday night, October 19th. Tickets are available right now at PPWWrestling.com. Tom Mitchell here, and I'm here at the recently returning Diablo Rojo. Now, Diablo, you have a new client. What can you tell us about El Fenomeno de Tormenta? Bueno, lo que tengo que decirle a la gente bonita de Hazleton que vengo trayendo talento, luchadores de alta potencia, traigo al señor Tormenta directamente desde Santo Domingo, señando y trayendo cátedra a lo que es lucha libre aquí. So, PPW, prepárese. Talentos que están ahí, prepárese, porque traigo lo mejor de lo mejor de la República Dominicana, el señor Tormenta. Tormenta, ¿tiene algo que decirle a este bello público de Hazleton? Hazleton. You need prepare. You need prepare for a storm. Diablo Rojo. Hazeltown tiene que estar preparado para el más grande luchador de República Dominicana, el fenómeno Tormenta, que hace cita hoy aquí en PPW y vino para quedarse, no importa quién. I don't care. You wrestling, you manager. I don't care what you tell me about my, my, my career, about my, my character. I'm phenomenal. Yes, but this is the song of the storm. Perfect storm come to stay in PPW. Be prepared, everybody, because we're here for stay. <laughs> yeah. The perfect storm is here. Back to you guys. Holy protest, this is for one ball. PPW High Voltage, Andy Header taking on, hey, I'm just talking good about you. Andy Header with Ryan Ray taking on, well, I don't know how to pronounce the guy, to be completely honest. Paul Bo doesn't know how to pronounce the guy's name. Paul Bo throwing some side comments at me. Are the building falling down? What is that sound? Who is this? Please wait the ring. Oh, wait a minute! Is that Diablo Rojo? El Phenomeno Tormenta. Something about a tortilla. I don't, I don't know what he said. Either way, Diablo Rojo's out here. He's back from Mexico. 
He got tired of drinking that water. He came up to Hazleton. I'm not so sure it's even better, to be honest with you, EJ, but that's the side. Not for me to decide. I don't live here. Let me tell you something. You don't want to get on the wrong side of the Hazleton Water Authority. No kidding. I think Rojo still doesn't uh, think it's better than Mexico's. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, and uh, is this guy coming back out again? Well, Diablo Rojo out here. Andy Hutter shoving our management. Doesn't oh. have any Red Bull to drink, but oh, he'll drink it anyway. Was... I got to deal with these two idiots. Of course I drank it all. Thank you. And now this guy's yelling at me. Thank you, finally. Well, Paul, Diablo Rojo back in PPW. Last time we seen him, Colt Cabana was holding him, and Sam Adams was waffling him with, with the, the briefcase that he holds in his left hand. That briefcase is, is more important than Marcelo Wallace's briefcase. <laughs> what is in it? Is the combo 666 or what? I don't know. Here we go, we're set for action. Tormenta and Header. Who? Oh. Tormenta, it's called the Phenomenal Storm that translate into English. And Diablo Rojo looking great. Phil, a singles match, Phil. We made it, we made it. Jeff, cut this guy's mic out in the truck out there. God. All right, move, I can't see around you. Oh, Tormenta. Built like a Christmas ball. Uh-oh. Reservoir Dogs Reborn. This sounds like the two neighbors I heard outside. Tormenta with the side headlock. Oh, wait a minute. Shoulder tackle by Tormenta. Diablo Rojo winding up on Ryan Race on the outside. Run through. El Tormenta showing us that Lucha style. Nice Lucha arm drag. Beautiful arm drag by Tormenta. Deep, Tor deep Tormenta, 13 year veteran of the squared circle. Well, Diablo Rojo went down to Mexico. Ryan, Ryan. And he came back with a solid performer here, Tormenta, making his PPW debut against Andy Hedder. And Hedder no slouch either in the ring, so this is a good measuring stick for Tormenta. Both men on the same page. And they will get applause from the crowd. Tell you what, Diablo Rojo, he's like a power broker in wrestling. He just goes all over the place, finds his talent, and brings it back up to the States here. Yeah, coming back with Torment, he said he didn't have, I, I asked him earlier, who do you got? He said, don't worry about it. It's going to be impressive. It's going to be a victory. No doubt about it. Diablo Rojo, very cool demeanor earlier today, Paul. Didn't have a care in the world. He's very, very uh, confident here tonight. How about that one leg drop kick? Sends header out, Tormenta looking to take flight. High risk, high reward. Oh, Caught himself there. Saw that coming a mile away. Diablo Rojo, a changed attitude here. Oh, Tope Soacina by Tormenta. Well, that made Paul's night. Action is spilled out to the outside here. Looks like Tormenta's gonna bring it back in. That's that veteran ring awareness there. You can't win a match outside the ring. Diablo yeah, Rojo telling us earlier today, guys, wasn't happy with his first run in PPW, wasn't exactly thrilled with his tactics or his antics, said that he's gonna be in a more advisory role right now. He's trying to get Ryan Race out of there from cheating. Ryan Race is marked safe. Atomic drop by Henner. Most for the springboard again. Double axe handle across the cranium. Tell you what, you may have not agreed with Diablo Rojo's tactics in the past. He brought Sam Adams to that championship, and you cannot forget about that. Absolutely. That had half to do with cheating. But to your point, it had half to do with the smarts of Diablo Rojo, an extremely vet veteran mind outside there. Hey, by hook or by crook, Sam Adams made a name for himself thanks to Diablo Rojo. In oh. part, Diablo Rojo. Running Bulldog by Hitter. 
Yeah, we'll have to see how Rojo's new tactics serve him in PPW in a second run here. And as Paul mentioned before, you still have to wonder what's in that briefcase. I mean, is it is it blocks of lead? Is it a brick? What is it? Well, I know one thing, he wouldn't let me pick it up, so that's that suspicious nature, if I must say so myself. And how does he get that through TSA? I have so many questions. Yeah, but Ro Rojo knows some people, all right? Don't worry about it. That's what he tell you, don't worry about it. Lines up header, big flip in the thing. Big running knee right to the midsection of header. Tormenta looking to go up top. Nope, step up in Seguri right behind the head of Header and down he goes. Tormenta going up top, taking his time, perhaps a little too long, ready to take flight. Header laid out on the top rope. Nobody home as Header moves out in the, just in the nick of time. Oh, Header with the running knee, right to the side of the face, shoulders down, floats over. Kick out again. Andy Header looks up at Jeff Card and can't believe a tormenta is still in this match. Well, you didn't hear what Cardin said about Teddy Hart's cat. I don't think I need to. Oh, Diablo Rojo trying to get these fans behind him. Andy Header continues the assault on El Tormenta. Those devastating kicks from Header. Oh, look at Andy Header. Oh. Andy Header's proud of himself. Big grin on his face. Ryan Race is over here screaming and sweating. This is the most calories he's burned probably in 15 years. I'm not going to argue with you there. And out goes the lights. And on goes the lights. We got a light show in the middle of the match here. Diablo Rojo taking taking his briefcase and showing Ryan Race is not afraid to use it on him. That'd be fair. Ryan Race mocking Diablo Rojo, slamming his arms onto the mat. Tormenta perched up on the top rope. Andy Header's out on his feet. And now a solid kick to the right. To the right leg, or left leg, excuse me, of Andy Header. And Tormenta's looking good right now. Went for the corkscrew, did not get all of that, kind of slipped, lost his footing. It's late in the night, it's a lot of perspiration on that mat. Andy Header struggling to get back up to the vertical base here. He's worn out. So is El Tormenta. Both men throwing it all out in the middle of that ring there. Now they're just exchanging blows. Nothing fancy about this. Header's urging him on. Rojo's throwing that briefcase around. Well, Ryan Race has been a thorn in Diablo Rojo's side all match. Hard to believe, I know. Andy Header John with Tormenta. Tormenta follows him up. Beautiful. Ring awareness by Tormenta to come right through. And now Andy Header. Looked like he was going to try to end it. Tormenta down. One, two. Header in the ring. No. Two and three quarters, says Jeff the ref. So close. Header just got his hand up. Thank you, thank you. I, I was worried. Ryan Ray saying that Andy Edder's okay. El Tormenta from the top. Oh, could not hit the moonsault. Andy Edder scouted it a mile away. Picks him up by both legs. Oh, Edder down in the middle of the ring. Goes immediately for the cover. It's Got over. him. Here is your winner, Andy Edder. Andy Header picks up a big win for Undeniable. Tell you what, Tormenta really wanted to pick up a victory here in his debut. Hey, 
I want a million dollars too. You can't always get what you want in life, right? Sometimes the cookie doesn't crumble the way it's supposed to go. Tormenta will live the fight another day. Gave him everything he had. In the end, Andy Hedder was just too much. Diablo Rojo's client is standing over him. Hedder wants a belt, he just said. I will be right back here at PPW High Voltage. Still up, guys. Daniel James, Austin Aries, in our main event for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. If you're going somewhere, you're crazy. We'll be right back. Hazleton, Pennsylvania. There'll be a full moon on Saturday, October 19th, live from Holy Family Academy in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Come see former WWE and current PPW Heavyweight Champion, Austin Aries, South Philly's Finest, the main event, Clutch Adams, and much, much more. That's Saturday night, October 19th. Tickets are available right now at PPWWrestling.com. P P W P P W Let's get something straight here. We came in and we not only destroyed your weak ass tag division. I fought it. You stop that. We destroyed and we angered and we upset and we embarrassed your entire roster. Again? You know what that smells like? Say it again, say it louder. Yeah, that's what the tag division at PPW smells like. The tag division at PPW! <laughs> you have failed to give us what we want and that is Real, real, real competition. So, we have decided that until management gives us real competition, Danny Moff and I are going to take a little vacation. Maybe a cruise, maybe a long weekend in the Poconos. Maybe we'll take a flight and go overseas. But until you give us competition, you will not see the guys that put asses in your seats. Look at that, the money. The money ain't showing up. Until you feel like it. <laughs> you see behind you what that says? Success. We have made our own success. We have made our own names. Shackles! Without contracts. And we don't give a damn. Like he said, we call our own shots and we're calling your bluff, PPW. Give us the competition we want, or until then, maybe we'll show up. <laughs> you don't get to see those tag titles or sent to slaughter. Start drinking another beer 
and get yourself some Z's at night. All right? Life ain't easy. And that, not, that, that, that goes beyond the business of pro wrestling. So what I would like to do right now is extend an opportunity for the people that are out here today to just start walking around when you're in life and asking a question that not enough people really listen to the answer. And that question is, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Now, the thing about it is, it's real simple. Big Cass, for a long time, he didn't tell people how he was really doing. He didn't tell me, he didn't tell the people that he loved around him, and because of it, he was in pain. And sometimes, when you're in pain, the scars that you wear on the inside, they hurt a lot more than the ones you wear on the outside. When somebody breaks an arm, you can look at that. You can look at that arm that's broken and know that person is in pain. But when somebody is in pain on the inside, it takes a real friend and a real family member, and it takes a real man to speak up, to inspire somebody else who is going through similar pain and depression, anxiety, addiction, real issues, okay? And I know these things aren't fun to talk about, but that's why I wanted to give this opportunity to myself to take this wrestling platform, a community of wrestling fans that lifted me up and showed up 4,500 people deep in Times Square because wrestling fans are the best fans in the world. So I want to thank you. And what Big Cass right now, what he needs, he needs friends. He needs support. People. Lift him up. Not people that are going to go on social media and point fingers and say, you got fat, you don't look good, you made a mistake. You know what? We all make mistakes in life. And a mistake is a mistake if you don't learn from And I think this time around, Big Cass has learned his lesson. He sought the help. And my number one motivation in life right now is to see that man back on his feet doing what he loves and winning titles. So what I've done is on Instagram in my most recent post, um, I put down an address and that address is to the DDP Yoga Performance Center. And I'm gonna say that address right now and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna invite you people to do something that just isn't done often these days, okay? We're real quick to pick up our phones and type something mean. We're real quick to pick up our phones and say something that might hurt somebody because it makes somebody else laugh and makes somebody else smile. But I'm gonna ask you and challenge you to pick up a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper, and write my best friend Big Cass a letter, letting him know that she would love to see him back on his feet doing what he loves. The address to the DDP Yoga Performance Center is 1239 Concord Road, Smyrna, Georgia, S-M-Y-R-N-A, 380. United States. Thank you all so much here at PPW for allowing me this platform to express, you know, and, and, and talk about an issue that isn't spoken about enough, and that's mental health. And I know it's relatable, so I'm not asking you people to come out here and talk about it right this second. But I did give you an address, a letter would be an incredible gesture, and you'll be surprised when you find out that helping people out is only done because it helps you out, all right? It makes you a better person when you help somebody else and it makes you feel better about yourself and that is what this life is about. I want, I want you all to feel good when you leave here today. I want you to enjoy this wrestling show. I know there's gonna be some incredible action, all right? I want you to cheer the wrestlers on all that they did when they get in this ring and what they might face in years to come. 
but let him live it right here in this ring tonight amongst you people out here. Thank you so much for having me, PPW. How you do? Tom Mitchell here, and I'm here with the one and only Austin Aries. Now, Austin, you have a PPW Heavyweight Championship match tonight against Evander James, who has knocked off plenty of competitors. What was your game plan heading into the contest? Why would I tell you and the whole world my game plan right here? That doesn't seem like a sound strategy, does it? Tom, is that your name? Yes, Tom. It's okay. Let me Follow with me here, Tom. Strategy is something that helps you in matches, right? If you tell your opponent your strategy, that probably undermines the ability for that information to help you win a match. So I can't give you that information. But here's what I can tell you tonight, people. 19 years professional wrestling. I've been called a lot of things, Tom. You probably read some of these things on the internet. I've been called the wrestling machine. I've been called the greatest man that ever lived. I've been called the truth. I've been called an asshole. I've been called the belt collector. You know the one thing I haven't been called? The PPW heavyweight champion. But that ends tonight. I've been doing a lot of training lately. Do you, I'm sorry, I, I feel rude. Maybe I didn't introduce you to my protege, Frank Mir. Perhaps you're familiar with him. Very strong grip. Yeah, former two-time UFC heavyweight champion. He's a thinker like I am. And we've been trading information. I've been teaching him the art form of professional wrestling. He's been teaching me his art form of mixed martial arts. So tonight, I didn't come alone to PPW because this is a big opportunity, not just for me, but for all you fans, for you, Tom, for all of Pennsylvania. Because when I leave here tonight, the PPW champion, everything changes. We raise the game to the A-double level, and we'll see who can keep up. All scenarios is Ray. We will find out tonight if Vander James is Ray as well. Back to you guys. All right, PPW fans, are you ready for your PPW? I'll ask you one more time, Hazleton, Pennsylvania, are you ready? This is your PPW High Voltage main event of the evening. When the bell rings, the third man in, PPW senior official, Mr. No, Jeff not you. Carden. What? Not you. I pointed to you. I was wrong. <laughs> Welcome back to PPW High Voltage Main Event Time for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Austin Aries, there he is, coming to the ring. As we wait, we go up to Fogo. First, Challenger, accompanied to the ring by Frank Beer from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, fighting out of the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. Fighting weight, 202 pounds. He is a multi-time heavyweight champion, the most controversial wrestler, Austin Aries. Well, Austin Aries, his resume goes a mile long. Let's just simply say one of the best wrestlers in the world coming to Hazleton, Pennsylvania, and he's got one of the most lethal men in the world next to him in Frank Mir. How, if you're Evander James, do you get by this one with your title in tow? I don't know, but this is definitely going to be the challenge of his career, Bravado. Oh, easily. Evander James very confident coming into this match. And here comes the PPW WWE Champion. We go up to Paul Bow with the introduction. Fighting out of Cop City, New York, 
Sharp, fighting weight 215 pounds. He is your reigning, defending BBW heavyweight champion, the man you can trust. Evander James having quite the history with that PPW Heavyweight Championship. But it's around his shoulder right now, or on his shoulder right now, and Austin Airy looking across the ring with Frank Mir, salivating, if you will, over that PPW Heavyweight Championship. Austin Airy's telling us earlier today, during weigh-in, and he was taking that title from Evander James. We're gonna have to see just how true that might be. Tell you what, Austin Aries, a trailblazer, a pioneer of independent wrestling. You know what, Paul? I've, I've had enough of the guy sitting behind us. You gotta do something about him. How about the guy sitting next to you? How about the guy sitting next to me talking to me? All right, here we go, PPW Heavyweight Championship on the line, Austin Aries. He's done everything in professional wrestling he can. Evander James, PPW Heavyweight Championship material from the start, and he has the belt, and there's a shake of hands, handshake, and we are underway here, Phil. Yeah, these two competitors both very, very confident in their own abilities to win this match tonight. They also have mutual respect for one another. This one's gonna be a good old fashioned wrestling match. And Evander James is gonna to have to uh, control this pace because Austin Aries will quickly get you into a spot where you don't wanna be. Aries with those martial arts style kicks, Evander returns one to favor. These men are just feeling each other out here in the early goings of this matchup, trying to see where that chink in the armor might be. Well, you don't wanna make that first mistake here in a title match. First mistake, EJ, can be a fatal one, you know that. Absolutely, look at Aries twisting up the champion like a pretzel. Knocked down and Aries now a little catch wrestling there. Aries schooling him. Highly decorated amateur wrestler, shoulders down, a kick out at basically one. Do you see how quick Austin Aries got to his feet after Evander James threw him out? This one's a good one, guys. This one might be going down as one of the best this year. Still a slow pace for this one, starting out. Both men getting a feel for each other. Now going to the Greco-Roman knuckle lock, but no. Champ had other ideas as he's controlling Aries by the arm there. Takeover by the head. Well, Evander James is going to look over at Austin Aries, and Austin Aries says, let's do this, keep going. Just getting started, feeling each other out. I'll tell you why, you're going to see so many different styles on display here. Both of these men are true journeymen of this craft, have traveled all over the place, taken all different styles, learn from everyone they step in the ring with. Speaking of different styles, um, Evander James is going to be heading to the Orion very soon to a tour with Japan. Nice drop kick by James. Knocked Aries down, holding on to those chiclets, checking to make sure he got a full set left. James caught him right on the button with that one. And I'll tell you what, Phil, in professional wrestling these days, there's a lot of flips and a lot of high spots. You don't see anyone throw a pretty drop kick anymore. That's true. The basics have kind of gone away to the wayside. All for these, fashion, these fancy moves, these sliced bread number twos and sevens. I don't even, I can't even keep up with it. Tell you what, Austin Aries, he'll take you to the air, he'll take you to the mat, it doesn't matter. He's Absolutely. been everywhere and done everything in this business, and he can wrestle any style he has to. Absolutely, extremely versatile. Very well-rounded Austin Aries, very quick and athletic, as you see right there on display. Here's the thing, Evander James is holding his own here in this match so far. The PPW Heavyweight Champion has to give credit where his credit's due. James backed into the corner. Not a good place to oh, be. Oh, man! Ross and Aries on your case. Brutal. Aries again, up and over. Big back elbow by James. Evander James. 
Knowing where he is in the ring, that's an important thing. Aries ducks out of dodge. He's been around the block too long for that. And oh man, how about that? Big old fashioned shot right in the mouth. Nothing fancy about that, Phil. And a smart move for Evander James to stay on Austin Aries. Don't pander to the crowd. You know, Evander James a couple months ago told us that he knew the error of his ways. I think that he should probably forget that message. Go and use anything you can to get the advantage here, especially against a guy like Austin Aries. See, that's the thing about Evander James. He just broke the count. He could have easily oh, kept man. Aries out there and got a count out, but that's not the kind of champion Evander James is. And don't forget, neither you two idiots have even mentioned. What? How about former UFC champion Frank Mir at ringside here? First of all, How when you were up there standing in the ring with your face hanging out, I would have gave him a whole preview and a promo. If you had Let's talk about Oh, it. man, power slam by James. Floats over, shoulders down, and kick out at two. That's the wild card right there. Watch him. Watch him as close as I watch EJ. Well, I ain't fighting him, that's well, for I, sure. No way. I told him what you said about him earlier, though. He wasn't happy to hear from you. Really? He might want to stay away from Frank. Boris or Mir? Uh, Mir. Oh, OK. Yeah, both, actually. Oh, oh, dumps oh. him over. And Austin James. Aries is saying, we're going to have none of the, that in this matchup. Uh oh, Aries going up top. Look at this, on top of James. Simple and effective, big axe handle smash from the top rope to the outside. And that's how much this PPW title means to Austin Aries. He is willing to go to any lengths to get it off the top rope. A lot of guys come in, you might see them mail it in, not Austin Aries. He wants to walk out of here with gold at PPW. You know, there's a lot of motivations in professional wrestling, guys. Getting away from your wife, for one, two, some money. Maybe some titles. Austin Aries cares about the third one and only the third one, titles. He cares about his resume, more importantly, his record. Almost. And he's not gonna let Evander James ruin that for him. At least he's not gonna try. Speaking of drop kicks there, Austin Aries just delivered one from the stratosphere. Not to be confused with the strand. Well, uh, there's lots of things being delivered there. Aries backs James into the corner. Using leverage. Big whip to the ropes, James Hard. Here comes Aries charging in. Snaps him over. Aries going up top. Elbow right to the back, right between the shoulder blades. Floats over, how shoulders down and a kick out. How about that hang time from Austin Aries? Looks like we were watching the X Games here, Paul Bo. Vander James screaming no, trying to get away from Austin Aries, who will slow him down by stepping on the back of his knee. Evander James is getting manhandled in this matchup here. This is all Austin Aries. You can see the ring experience by Austin Aries as he has that knee contorted right to the middle of the back, now into the squatting pose and controlling him with that chin lock there. James now trying to get to the vertical base. Big back elbow and another back elbow. James sets himself up for the ropes. Aries holds on and oh, old fashioned cauliflower ears, Phil. Well, it doesn't feel great to have your ears boxed out. James so talented up and over and there's a, what's, there's a taste of his own medicine forcing the air into those ears. Disorientates the opponent. Messes up your equilibrium. Oh, and how about that for an equilibrium? Skimming in Sagiri Pai. James trying to get him up. Airy steps up with him. James going for a little slice bread. Walks the rope old school. Blockbuster by Evander James. You can see the look in Evander James' eyes right now, guys. He knows he is in. You know what? He's up, you know why, without a paddle. Facing Austin Aries, throwing everything he has at him. Guys, Hasn't when, been enough so far. When we have a second, I'd like to thank the Rewind channel for getting us on here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. More markets to come for PPW High Voltage. Going to be a huge year. And you're looking at one of the signature matches right now. Austin Aries challenging Evander James for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. James caught him double with the double knees. James going up top. Looking to end it here. High risk, high reward. Someone better call Hazel Municipal Airport or the bastards that canceled Madison Rain's flight at <laughs> United. Up top, 450, he nailed it. Floats that over, could be one, it. two. Oh, oh my God. What is it gonna take? Phil, what will it take with that 450? 
I think I don't think James can believe this one's still going on. He was expecting to hear that bell ringing at this time right now. Well, somebody who's also hearing a bell ringing is Austin Aries, who just got the worst of that one. Aries trying to collect himself on the outside of the ring. Evander James looking to go up. Well, just staying on the outside, excuse me. You've got to be impressed with your PPW champion here tonight, folks. Aries is limp. You could see him laying on that. Uh-oh, Aries Wait. scoops him up, that lower body power. James delivering the goods. Going to bring him in the hard way. The champion goes for the suplex, can't get it over the rope. Aries is blocking it. Look at this. James got him up. Oh, great move by Austin uh -oh. Aries. That's a choke. He's going to try to choke him out. Nope. Falling down. James has him. Yeah, that's Look James. at that. <laughs> Look at the strength of Evander James. Unbelievable. What a couple moves here. Frank Boris, our photographer, right in there getting those picks. Roll them up. One, two, kick oh. out. Right into, into the jackknife. Into the jackknife submission there. He has them legs contorted, back contorted. Crowd chanting, tap. Tell you what, it wouldn't be the first time Austin Aries won a championship with this maneuver. You talk about strength in your neck by Austin Aries. We used to do them in football neck rolls. But Aries, I'll tell you what. Guys, throughout this match, Austin Aries, he's already a dangerous wrestler as it is. We've covered that part. He's looking out at Frank Mir, getting coaching instructions from one of the most dangerous men in America right now, or used to be, still is, I'm not gonna fight him. No way. And Frank Mir knows every technical advantage that you can have. Austin Aries got a huge advantage coming into this match against Evander James. Oh, running knee right in the mouth. This may be the opening of Evander James eats. He needs to get back in the ring. Oh, oh. Death Valley driver right onto the apron. Folks, where else are you gonna get action like this? Anywhere else except PPW, here at your high voltage main event for the evening. I hope you're not going anywhere. You're not gonna wanna miss a minute of this action, folks. Aries floats over, kicks out by James. Evander James, our fighting champion here at PPW, showing the heart of a lion. James has him oh. up, jackknife right down. Ooh, right into the brain buster there, Paul Bo. He planted James's head in the middle. Three, no! No, I thought that was it. Look at James, look at James! You see the look on Austin Aries' face? He can't believe it. Look at the champion. Show a tremendous heart. Had nothing left in the tank. He tried to muster his will there. It oh. was not enough. Look oh, at that! Minute, it was away. a ruse! It was a ruse! Oh, James with a running knee again. Backs Aries up into the corner. Aries. In a bad position. Oh, and that's oh, no. some of that coaching from Frank Mayer over in his corner there with the guillotine choke. Triangle choke, whatever it is there. Harry just threw his arm pad off. And choking him again. This might be it. Not a good. He's out. He's out. He's out. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Did Austin. Did Austin Aries just, just win the match? Oh, Carton says He's yes! He's your winner by submission and new BPW Heavyweight Champion, Austin Aries! DJ Austin Aries just won the BPW Heavyweight Champion. He choked him out! He choked him out! Frank Mears trying to revive him! He I choked him out! I can't what I just saw! Oh my God! Austin Aries, our new PBW champion. The only way you were gonna beat Evander James tonight was to choke him out like we saw. Hey, it's fair and square. Walt's fair and love and war. That's amazing. Wow. Wait a minute. Don't go off the air yet. Hold on. Austin Aries! Austin Aries! Austin Aries! Thank you. Let me be the first to say as somebody who lived in Philadelphia, the people here are much nicer and more professional and more respectful. So thank you for allowing me in your house here tonight. 
And let me be the first to congratulate you because you have one hell of a world champion right here in PPW right now. Austin Aries, strong words. And Evander James coming too, realizing what happened. You have nothing to hang your head about. Let's have a hand right here for your former champion. Evander James getting a now, a sir, standing ovation here. If you'll kindly leave my ring, I've got a few things I'd like to say for my coronation speech. There's a lot of things that have been said, a lot of things that have been written about Austin Aries over my 19 year career. But one thing nobody's ever questioned is my absolute love for professional wrestling. And as you see, there's someone else sharing my love for professional wrestling, Mr. Frank Mir, a living legend, one of the most dangerous men walking the face of the earth. So one thing I realized about this town in the 24 hours I've been in is you're a bunch of hard workers. You're blue collar like where I grew up. You're a hard worker. Apparently the guy running the mic's getting paid by the hour. His wife just called and it's time to come home. Dinner's ready. I'm gonna promise you guys one thing before I let you get out of here. As long as this is in my hands, every time I step out of that curtain, every time I step in this ring, every time I grab the microphone in my hand, you will get absolutely the best I have to offer every single time. Every penny you spend here will be well earned and well deserved by each and every one of the men in the back. And whoever the man is to take this from my hands will have to earn it. With, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for your time. Hey, Frank, do you have your UFC Heavyweight uh, Championship belt handy? I've got a new championship belt in my hand. We're both standing in the ring. How about a little photo op opportunity right now? They told me I could do this right now after the show. You're gonna moan about this. $20 for you or anybody in your group. Line it up, step in the ring with the champs, and take a picture in this ring and then have yourselves a good night and come back well, next Austin month Aries is when I defend this, this thing. With photos, Thank you so much. DJ, an unbelievable night here at PPW, sixth anniversary show, our sixth birthday party capped off by Austin Aries' victory here tonight. Absolutely, what a wonderful right, show. Aries Folks, thanks for coming out. Thanks for tuning in to High Voltage. Hazleton, Pennsylvania. There'll be a full moon on Saturday, October 19th, live from Holy Family Academy in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Come see former WWE and current PPW heavyweight champion, Austin Aries, South Philly's finest, the main event, Clutch Adams, and much, much more. That's Saturday night, October 19th. Tickets are available right now at PPWWrestling.com.